What's up, Gymshark? Welcome to your Gymshark 66 program. Today, you've got me, Jay. And Stan. And we're going to be taking you through a bigger bicep workout. I don't know about you, Stan. Biceps is probably the best muscle group to train. It's the most bro exercise. It's and literally, when I knew I was doing a bicep workout with Stan, I was thinking, <laughs> thank God it wasn't like legs. I was like, thank <laughs> God not, it's biceps. Not count. So much nicer. So the workout today is really easy. All we're gonna be needing is one pair of dumbbells. With the workout, we're gonna take you through a seven minute EMOM to begin with. It's super light, it's super easy. We're gonna be taking it very, very easy to begin with. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say the first few rounds are like five out of 10 difficulty, but by the end of it, trust us, it really starts to build up. So in about 35 seconds, we're gonna go for our first exercise. So you're gonna grab both of your dumbbells for us. And with these two dumbbells, all we want from you is eight bicep curls. That's it. You've got one minute to do eight bicep curls. So in 20 seconds, you're gonna grab both your dumbbells and to recap, a bicep curl is literally this. You squeeze the dumbbells up, and you lower the dumbbells all the way back down again. That's it. Eight reps in one minute. The rest of the rest of that one minute is your rest time. You can just chill, do whatever the hell you want. It's super easy. So you've got six, five, eight curls, four. You got three, two, one, let's go. So we're we'll squeeze the dumbbells up towards the shoulders and then slowly bring the dumbbells down. Now, you wanna make sure the weight you've got is a challenging enough weight that you're really feeling the squeeze of the bicep right at that top peak and then slowly lowering it down, all right? Stop staring at Stan's arms just because they're bigger than mine. It's making me insecure. <laughs> Lift it up. <laughs> when you've done your eight reps, you're gonna put the dumbbells down and chill. So if you're with Stan and I, you've got two reps left making that eight. So that's number seven, lower it down. Squeeze up last one, we hit eight. Boop. When you're done, lower the dumbbells down, put them on the floor and just chill. That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think my biceps are now indeed bigger than yours, so. Uh... All right, Stan, <laughs> jeez, I thought I was being nice. <laughs> so 15 seconds, you're gonna go again. It's just the same thing. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, eight reps, every minute, this is so easy. Trust me, it builds. So eight seconds, you're gonna go, re-grab the dumbbells. You got minute number two, eight reps again. You got three, two, one, let's go. Now, when you're hitting a bicep curl, contrary to popular belief, the most important part of the curl is actually how you lower the dumbbells. You rip and you tear muscle fiber much more significantly by lowering the dumbbells under control than you do actually lifting the dumbbells. So as long as we lift the chest up, we slow lower the dumbbells down and we lift again and we're good. Stan, can I just say, we're so in sync. I mean, we, I, I'm trying to just mirror you. because I mean, this is... It's like a little bromance right here, like a bicep bromance. I think we were told we were just looked the same. People thought we were related, so. Oh yeah, people thought we were related. I mean, do you see it? This is what would happen to Stan if he didn't work out and sort of <laughs> oh, no. didn't do his hair. So I'm, like, <laughs> Stan, I'm the reflection of Stan that Stan can go, I've got to make sure I keep training, otherwise Jay is what I'm going to look like. <laughs> you got 10 seconds, you're going to go again. <laughs> Minute number three, you got six, five, we go again, four, three, Two, one, let's go. So now we're into the third round, okay? For me, the third round's a turning point. By the end of the third round, you start to feel like, okay, I'm actually feeling my biceps now. Not enough to take a break, and certainly not enough to feel uncomfortable, but just enough that you're like, okay, this is starting to pinch a little bit. You regretting grabbing your dumbbells? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too, I'm glad oh. you said that. Last one, and then control those dumbbells back down again. So it's roughly taken as about 30 seconds worth of bicep curls and then followed by a 30 second break. If you're moving a bit faster than we are, that's absolutely fine. If you're moving a little bit slower, that is also fine. Round number four is coming in 20 seconds. We need this to be that by round seven, you are like, literally you're like, somebody take my arms off my body and let me just take a break. The one minute is deceptive, yeah? It's so deceptive. It's deceptive, yeah. So round number four coming up in six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Stan, when would you do this workout? I would do this workout whenever I want to have massive biceps. Yeah. I mean, if you've got a date, right? Or you're going out for a <laughs> night out and you want to look good in your shirt or your dress or whatever it is, we got you. Yes. This is the workout for you. You got three curls left. If you're doing it with us, you got three left. Both Stan and I are pretending that we're not struggling, but we really are. All. We really are. <laughs> Hit that last one and lower the dumbbells back down again. Oh, yes, this, yeah, this is, it's kicking in. It's like 30 seconds. We're pretty consistent with the 30 yeah. seconds, but 
Also, 30 seconds rest, go on for it. But you know what though? You kind of want to get to a point where I know both of us, by the time we get to around six and seven, we're going to be struggling. Yeah. But if you do want to be able to change your body and actually shape your arms, you've got to struggle in some way. So in 10 seconds, you're going to go again. This is round number five, yeah? So you got six, you got five. We go again, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So squeeze, lower it down. Now, if you really want to get a peak of the bicep, I want you to imagine when you curl, imagine you're twisting your little finger to touch the inside of your shoulder. So get a real twist it, then lower the dumbbells all the way down again. Just getting that little peak will really help get a nice swell in that bicep. If you are starting to struggle, it doesn't matter if you add a little swing, as long as you can slowly control the dumbbells down. Hit that last one. Good, control the dumbbells down and relax. Oh, yeah, and this, this, will, this will definitely yeah. <laughs> build these massive biceps. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> I haven't got the confidence. <laughs> uh. so you got two rounds left, all right? Now, if you get to a point where you really start to struggle, remember what we said, the eccentric part is just important. So if you feel that you can't concentrically lift it, I'm okay if you cheat. Cheat and then slowly lower the dumbbells down. You got two rounds left. You got five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, it's never a good sign <laughs> oh. when the first curl hurts. <laughs> and you know you've got seven left. You do one curl, you're like, ah, oh, ow, this is painful already. <laughs> oh, yeah. No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> Most cliche thing ever, but... Oh. I'm laughing, but really, I'm crying. Lift it. Ugh. And again, squeeze it up. You always know it gets harder than those pains. Last one. And relax. You got one more left. Yes. I let into a little secret. Stan is just motivating himself the entire time. Stan's silently going, he's going, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here, just trying to follow you. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely not in pain. Definitely not in pain. <laughs> My arms are killing. <laughs> yeah, they're killing. I... Oh. Last one, last one. Then we're done with this part. Yeah, you got four, three, two, one. Let's go. Now see yes. if you can do what we call non-emotional curls. <laughs> yeah, keep your face straight. Just look like you're in zero pain. Try and trick your mind. You are okay. You are fine. We all want better, bigger, leaner, stronger arms. This is what it takes. Hit the last two, hit the last two. <clears throat> One more, and again. Yes, control it down. <laughs> Bring the dumbbells down and release. Definitely didn't struggle wow. at all. <sighs> Most important thing, honestly, stretch. Always stretch in between. All right, don't let your arms just be like this the entire time to stretch it. So the last piece of this puzzle, we are now going to hit two exercises. One is going to hit more on the inside of your bicep. One's going to hit more on the outside, running down into the forearm, but they're only 30 seconds each. So exercise one is what you call a goblet drag curl. Bit of a mouthful. So with the one dumbbell, you're going to place your little fingers underneath the dumbbell like so. You keep the dumbbell close to your body, but you see your arms are slightly naturally bent. Don't try and straighten them. From there, you drag the dumbbell up towards your chin, and then you slowly bring the dumbbell back down again. So in about 20 seconds, again, squeeze it up, lower it down, and then just relax. So in 20 seconds, you've got the goblet drag curl for 30 seconds. Then the moment you are finished, you grab both of your dumbbells and you hammer curl. We hammer curl for 30 seconds, we just squeeze up, we drop down, we squeeze up, and we drop down. For 10 seconds, you're gonna go, 30 second drop, goblet drag curl, then straight to hammer curls, there's no rest in between. Three rounds and then we're done, we swear. You got four, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So imagine, ready for this analogy? Imagine this is a goblet of water and you're bringing the goblet of water and you're gonna drink it. So you go one and then bring it down. Yeah, it's a weird analogy, but you get what I mean. Makes sense. Makes sense, also, it makes sense. Just explain the entire name. There you go. <laughs> 10 seconds, squeeze it up. Really feel that pinch on the inside of your bicep for five, four, three. Let's do one more. Two, one. Good. Bring it down. Grab the second dumbbell straight away. Lift it up. Now let's go hammer curl. 30 seconds. Really feel the forearm start to blow. Lift it. Bring it down. I know right now your biceps are killing, your forearms are blowing, but you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. 30 seconds. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. Rest. You're going to need it. 30 seconds, you're going to go again. Yes. Yeah? So the goblet drag curl straight to the hammer curls. If by the third round, you can't even hammer curl, you've had the best arm workout. The workout is not about finishing and being like, oh my God, this is so easy. Struggle. The struggle needs to be real. You got seven, six, five, four. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze it up. Bring it back down again. I mean, yeah, we're just, we're just silent by how, <laughs> how heavy this is. <laughs> Underestimated this. <laughs> we massively did. What was funny, the creative director before this workout went, it might be too heavy for you two. We went, nah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're big boys. We can do this. Nah, I think he was right. Yeah. I think he was right. Okay. <laughs> you got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab that second dumbbell. I know right now you've got a bit of anxiety over the thought of doing this. All right. But only but one round done. left after this. Ah, Come on. God. <laughs> Again, lift, hinge, squeeze, hinge. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. You've only got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. 30 seconds. You're not supposed to look pretty by the last rounds. All right? Do me a favor. Do this. Try and touch your shoulders. Uh, ain't happening. There you go. Ain't happening. That's seen over the good bicep workout. If you do this and you cannot touch your shoulders, there is so much blood in your bicep right now. You can't do it. Perfect. 10 seconds. Last round. We're done. <sighs> also, a great workout for if the environment's pretty cold, like it is here. Uh, then uh, we can just warm up right Literally. now. Literally. Oh. You got six, five, Four, ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, if you are not struggling by the last round, ask yourself a question. A, did I lift heavy enough? B, was my intensity there? Intensity is everything. Anybody can pick up a pair of dumbbells and bicep curl. That's not difficult. But bicep curling in a way where you're stimulating so much growth and blood rushing into the muscle, that's hard. You got five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Don't even think, just go. Grab that second dumbbell. Stan, let's go. Let's go. Lift it. Ah. Last 30 seconds, you're done. We drop the dumbbells, we take that break and there's no more biceps. You are ready to step out the door. Go on your date, go on your <laughs> night out with arms that look fantastic. Lift it. You got 10, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two, one. And relax. Put the dumbbells down. Three, two, one, we bicep pose. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that feels good. That feels good. Guys, as always, thank you so much for taking the time out to click on this workout and do something for yourself. That was part of your gym shot 66. Stan, how was it? This was one of the best workouts for Afro biceps I've ever had. This is crazy. Yes. Oh, 12 minutes, completely gone. You heard it from Stan. It's all good. Jim Shaw, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.